Hey, I'm Francis Natchwick, and I am here with John Davies. He's from Pro Climber, and we're here to talk about air tightness. John, what is that? <laughs> That's a blower door, and that allows us to test the air leakiness or air tightness of the building envelope. So we're going to gently depressurize and pressurize the building. If we depressurize, we're going to find where air is leaking in. And if we pressurize, we're going to find where air is leaking out. And if it's leaking, it's lost. So that's our heat energy. That's what we want to fix. Wow, that's a bad one. Okay, so we've found a gap. We've seen the air leaking through the cavity. But it is a very small hole, John. Well, that small hole gave us an awful lot of leakage during that test. We could see it. But the effect of that air leaking out is the effect on the insulation value. So if the air is flowing through it, it's not working. In fact, it's probably degrading that insulation by maybe up to 80%. 80%? That, that's a big number. How, how come so much? Well, it's just like you wearing a jersey on a windy day. The air cuts through it and stops your cardigan from working. That leads us to another problem, and that is the amount of moisture that can go out through that hole in the, in the wall as well. So the physical testing that's been done shows that a one millimeter air gap that's one meter long over a 24 hour period with a 20 degree temperature difference can lead to 800 mils of moisture being taken out through that gap in the wall. That's a lot of water. Where is all that water gonna go when it goes through the hole? Well, hopefully a lot of that will carry on, but the reality is that some of it can get trapped in the wall and at that stage, water, mold, and structural decay. Small gap, big problem.